everyone, my name is Alexis Balve, and for my paper, I chose to analyze war and rape. My paper is entitled The Transgression of Rape in War, The Rape of Nanking. For those of you who are not familiar with Nanking, um, this is a place in China where the Japanese invaded um, in 1937, and it was said that between 20,000 and 80,000 women were raped. Um, the men of the city were rounded up and killed, and many more were taken as sexual slaves. Um, I became an, interested because my parents read this growing up, so I just took it from my house um, and decided to go off of this. Um, so this begs the question for me, how and why was violence used against civilians during the 1937 capture of Nanjing by the Japanese army? It just baffles my mind how ordinary people um, can destroy another person's body, mind, and spirit. Um, so really to understand the brutality that the Japanese army inflicted upon the women of Nanjing, I ask um, and view rape through three frames. Rape as a destruction of the community and transgenerational survivability. Rape to reinforce masculinity and dehumanize the victim. And rape as an aspect of the Macabrasca theatricality of violence. Um, so China and Japan have always had a deep-seated hatred for each other, so when rape was used, mass rape was used to destroy the past, present, and future of China, essentially delegitimizing and destroying the culture. Um, through the mass rapes, um, it created shame and humiliation, which essentially eliminated the continuation of the community and instilled a sense of transgenerational trauma. The real reason men chose to rape their women um, was a weapon to reinforce their own masculinity through the dehumanization of the victim and a combined traditional and hegemonic sense um, of masculinity, which is instilled in the training of each soldier in order for them to dehumanize and use aggression and dominance to eliminate their victim and their enemy. I also used the Macabras to explain why. It took a psychodynamic approach according to Edward Wiseman's book. The Macabras, which he describes as the performative transgression, dramaturgies, and aesthetics of human violation and genocide and mass atrocity. Perpetrators in the Macabras aim to completely dehumanize the mind, body, and spirit of the victim and make them participate in the performance of their own torture, rape, and death. Men choose this because they project their own shame and humiliation their envy of the womb, and explore the reified from forbidden. They embrace this theatricality of violence and their, the victim's role in the demise um, so that they will believe that they are, that it's their fault, um, breaking the spirit, mind, and body of the individual victim of Nanjing and the survivability of the Chinese nation. Um, I believe that future uh, research should really investigate hegemonic and traditional masculinity and see if uh, this could lead to a decrease in wartime um, rape if the, these forms of masculinity are discouraged. And if that's true, that would prove a very um, significant policy change for the training um, techniques for the military because those are very much instilled into the soldiers, not just in the United States, but across the globe. Um, I was really excited about this. Um, give these a read if you want something interesting to read. Um, hope everyone has a great break.